Pete. It's your boy, Cyclist Pete, back once again with another banger set of cycling sunglasses. The Oakley Encoder. Whee! Oakley joins style of functionality on these hot new style daddies. Are they maximum new? Yes. But what do you guys think? Best cycling sunglasses design in the game? I think we should give these a closer look. Let's start out by talking the lens on these bad boys. The frameless lens design looks really good, and it's a tall shape that provides extra coverage when you're low and looking up. For total coverage, they do a good job, but by looking at the design, I thought I'd get more. The standard coverage is mostly due to the nose piece that pushes the lens a little further out from your face on these, and the cut on the bottom of the lens. I'd rather it go a little lower but maybe I'm just used to my advancers that go super low. A lot of frameless lens designs are a little flimsier compared to framed sunglasses, but the flared lip at the top of these give these some extra girth and some solid rigidity. And the reflections across that top curve and subtle flared nose make these just look fresh. But I think Oakley screwed up big on one thing. The lenses are not replaceable, so no lens swapping and no replacing if they get scratched. I've had a lot of Oakley lenses and I have a really good idea of their durability. And I'd call them slightly scratch resistant, so they won't scratch if you're pretty careful with them. And I think the scratches will be a little easier or maybe more noticeable on the highly reflective lenses, like the Prism 24K. But besides the lens surface, these things are just built different. Extra solid feeling. The hinge design is just robust and clearly durable. The arms are pretty thick and soften up a good amount on the ends. On the sides here, there's a little rubber edge that comes out a little further to help these stay in place when you have these up on your helmet's fence. Although they do move around a little more than my radars on my Giro Ether helmet. According to Oakley, the arms are a little shorter on these compared to past models in hopes of fitting a wider range of helmet sizes and designs. I can't really tell a difference, but they seem to work pretty well with the retention system on my helmet. The weight and solid feel of the arms is pretty nice. Strong enough to keep them in place, but not so much that they're uncomfortable. Overall, these stayed in place well, were comfortable, and required very little correction on my rides. The nose piece is one pretty solid, very soft piece of rubber held by two hidden posts mounted on the lens. Like I mentioned earlier, wearing these, they're placed slightly further out than my radars, which I think significantly helps with fog reduction. I think the lens shape at the top and the bottom might also help with directing airflow behind the lens, helping reduce fog. I had a hard time getting these things to fog, even when sweating hard, climbing hills on those really hot days. But I don't necessarily think the nose piece design is as comfortable as the radar advancers. And about the same, or maybe a little bit less than the radar style. But overall, I think it works really well and it'll fit a wide range of face and nose shapes. It's pretty hard not to like these after using these for a few weeks. They're just some really well-made kit. And just pure style mode. Activation. Fresh level. 11. 11. Get these in 24K or Sapphire if you really want to max out that stoke meter. I think these have a small step ahead of the radar advancers for style points. I mean, come on, who doesn't like this frameless, frameless, oversized, 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 oversized. I think a lot of riders will be really happy with these, especially if you want maximum upper visibility. But if you want the most functional and practical shades, I think you should check out some others before blindly ordering a set of these. The unreplaceable lens on these just really keeps these from shining. And having a design that's almost all lens, that gets me a little nervous. That's it for this vid. If you like this one and want more, like and subscribe and hit the bell for new video notifications, new cycling product reviews, adventure ride vlogs, and just other premium quality YouTube content. It's your boy, Cyclist Pete.